Hi, I'm Harrison with Audio Advice. In this video, we'll be diving into the new ELAC Varro subwoofer. Let's get started. You might know ELAC from their award-winning budget price speakers first introduced in 2006, and then their famous debut speakers followed in 2015. Since then, they've had several models of speakers on almost all of the best for the money lists from reviewers all around the world. Now, what you may not know is how much engineering prowess ELAC has as a company, which led to this great new series of Varro subwoofers. Founded in Germany, ELAC has been around for almost 100 years. They invented the moving magnet phono cartridge and were a huge seller of turntables back in the day. Now they have engineering facilities in Orange County, California and Toronto, Canada, and their largest group headquartered in their much expanded original location in Kiel, Germany. ELAC uses clipal analysis, anechoic chambers, outdoor measurements, and real world listening tests in the design of their speakers and subwoofers. Another fun fact is about their jet tweeter. It is a patented design of theirs that got its inspiration from the famous air motion transformer by loudspeaker pioneer Dr. Oscar Heil. This lightning fast driver is flat out to an astonishing 50,000 hertz with a smooth and effortless character. It is so good that you'll find it used in some of the best automobile sound systems from well-known premium German car manufacturers. ELAC has achieved remarkable success with their outstanding value speakers. While they have consistently produced good subwoofers throughout the years, they were never really a core focus in the same way as their bookshelf and tower speakers were. They did have some really cool software tech though. In 2015, they were the first company to have a subwoofer app and the first to offer auto room EQ on subs. In 2021, they decided to get serious about pairing the software with even better components and hired a veteran chief engineer from another famous speaker company to begin work on the new line that would eventually become the Varro series you see here. The Varro subwoofers we'll be talking about today cover a very wide range of prices, but they also share a lot of similar technology. We'll first go over the tech they all have in common, and then get into each series to help you decide which one might be the best for your home theater or music system. All of these Varro subs have extremely well-made cabinets. Every single one has internal cross bracing and special damping material to keep the cabinet from doing anything but letting the woofer do its job. They all have threaded feet that can be used with spikes or rubber feet. While the drivers in the different series vary, they all use ELAC's special ceramic magnet. All of the Varro subs use a very special amplifier design called a Bash Amp. ELAC's CEO brought Bash to the consumer market and it is now used by several different well-known speaker companies. They have used it for a few years and Varro gets an updated version of this really cool design. Just about any audiophile will agree a class AB amplifier will control a woofer better than a full digital amp. The Bash amp mates up a modulated switch mode power supply to the class AB amp section. It switches at over 400,000 times a second while tracking the incoming audio signal to deliver only the voltage necessary, plus a little headroom to handle those big dynamic peaks. The advantage of this type of design is that the power amp for the sub can deliver a tremendous amount of power while maintaining incredible control of the woofer. As we said earlier, ELAC was the first company to have an app for subwoofers. And let us tell you, it is one fantastic app. It's been updated for Varro with better auto EQ, as well as quicker and better Bluetooth capabilities. Using the app made it so much easier for us in our testing to blend the sub with our main speakers. Now we're going to show you some screenshots as we talk about the features next. As you can see, the home screen shows the subwoofer volume and preset that you are in. One really cool feature is if you have more than one sub, you can control each one individually, but group their relative volume levels. With this technology, you can actually group up to eight subwoofers. When you go to the setup screen, you'll be able to fine tune the crossover of the sub from 40 to 150 hertz in one hertz increments. You have full control of the phase from zero to 360 degrees. You can also add up to 20 milliseconds of delay if you wish. You can even set the auto on function to turn the sub on with different thresholds of signal levels, which can be very handy if you listen at low level volumes, as I've seen some subs with an auto on feature not turn on at very low levels. 
And if you are someone who likes to tweak, you're gonna love the parametric EQ screen. You get eight bands of adjustment up to 200 Hertz with a full EQ and gain control over each one. ELAC was also the first company to include auto EQ in a speaker and we have to say, this one is incredibly easy to set up. You first point the mic on your phone at the sub in very close proximity to the woofer. This will take a snapshot of what should be coming out of the sub with very little room effect. You then move to your listening position and run the test again where the ELAC software will compare it to the first measurement and try to get the sub as flat as possible for your listening position. As a sidebar, if you purchase your ELAC subwoofer from Audio Advice, we will include the tips and tricks that we discovered when using the app to help you get the very best outcome from the auto EQ system, as well as how to best adjust your AVR to blend the sub perfectly into your system. Now, once you have your system fine-tuned, there are four presets that change just the low end of the curve. The flat setting is going to be the most accurate, while the night setting will roll off the bottom end some. The music preset gives the lower end of the bass spectrum an ever so slight boost, while the theater setting boosts it a little bit more. These are easy to play around with, and we wound up using the flat and night presets for most of our testing. To ensure this processing does not alter the low frequency audio signal coming in, ELAC uses a dual 28-bit DSP system with a 140 MHz master clock frequency for great accuracy and minimal latency. So now that you know all the tech that they share, let's dive into each series. The first series in the Varo is called Premium. We have a very strong suspicion that these are going to be just like the first ELAC bookshelf speakers and become very popular as a great value subwoofer. All of these use 30mm thick MDF cabinets with a nice vinyl wrap. These are a base reflex design with a port on the bottom. Each one is damped and braced based on the driver size used. The Varo models all have high excursion paper cone drivers. The driver itself is extremely lightweight and is treated to improve its stiffness. They all deploy a two inch long throw voice coil and are coupled to the large ceramic magnet. The premium line includes the 10 inch PS250, the 12 inch PS350, and the 15 inch PS500 models. The specs are very impressive as the 3dB down points are 27, 24, and 20 hertz measured in an anechoic chamber and 24, 21, and 16 hertz in room. That is pretty darn good and we are happy to see these published at a minus 3dB. Amplifier power is 250 watts continuous on the 10 inch, 350 watts on the 12 inch, and 500 watts on the 15 inch, which is double that power available for peaks. These are some of the fastest bass reflex subs that we've ever heard, with speed to keep up with small driver bookshelf or tower speakers, yet they can produce a tremendous amount of SPL. ELAC's measured anechoic levels are 107, 108, and 115 dB. Anechoic measuring does gain you some output, but even so, those are very high levels before distortion for the bargain prices on these models. We don't normally go over pricing in our videos as it can change, but we have to tell you these are just such an incredible value for what you get. The 15 inch sub with its great cabinet, driver, amp, and app control with EQ is only $999. For everything you get, that is amazing. You could even get two of them for the price of some smaller single subwoofers and really rock your home theater. The 10 inch at this time of filming is $649, while the 12 inch is $749. And ELAC has an ongoing promotion for 2023 that will give you a discount if you purchase two subwoofers at once. Check out the link in our description below for more details. All right, the next series is called Reference and it consists of two models, a 10 inch RS500 and a 12 inch RS700. These are both sealed boxes, and during our testing, we spent the most time listening to the 12-inch version. When you move up to reference, the solid MDF cabinet gets thicker at 35 millimeters. The external look of the cabinet gives a much more high-end aesthetic with rounded edges and a satin painted finish. The woofer itself is also completely different. The cone moves from treated paper to a unique sandwich design. Two treated paper cones go in between an aluminum sandwich using a special gluing process. This is a clever design as it gives you the great transient response of paper drivers with the rigidity of aluminum which lets the woofer have a longer throw to handle very deep bass and higher output. The basket for these gets upgraded to a die cast type with a 2.5 inch voice coil and a larger ceramic magnet. But more than anything, you've probably been looking at this cone and wondering, what is up with that hexagon shape? 
ELAC had done a lot of measurements on woofers that are mounted vertically in a cabinet. They found no matter how great the design was, there's always going to be a tiny amount of sag due to gravity. They came up with the idea they called hex technology for the surround. This type of geometry allows the driver to move more like a true piston, which gives lower measured distortion even at very high levels. Plus, it just gives a really unique and serious look. The reference series also comes with a wireless receiver built into the back of the sub, so you can now go wireless if needed with the optional ELAC wireless transmitter. And you can actually go beyond just one sub with this Air X2TW transmitter, as it will support up to three subs wirelessly all at once. There are also some very beefy speaker wire connections on the rear, should you wish to connect them up that way. This is usually done in a high-end two-channel audio system. Some music lovers believe if you run speaker wire from your main amp to the sub, the sub amp will take on more of the sonic character of your main amp. When you do this, your main speakers will usually play full range, and you could use the crossover in the subwoofer to have it kick in where your mains roll off. It's nice ELAC offers this for the two-channel enthusiast with very nice connections and an app that makes it just super easy to set up for this type of situation. The specs on these are very impressive, which carried over how great we thought the RS700 sounded. The 3 dB down for anechoic is 18 Hz on the 10 inch, 17 Hz on the 12 inch, and the in-room measurements at 15 Hz and 14 Hz. Maximum anechoic SPL is 108 and 111 dB respectively. You get bigger bash amps in these two models with 500 continuous watts on the 10 inch and 700 on the 12 inch, with double the power available for peaks. We have to talk about the price of these two outstanding subs. Now, granted, this could change, so don't hold us to this three or four years down the line, but the launch price on these are $12.99 and $14.99. We have to say the 12-inch model, with everything you get and how it sounded in our testing, makes it an incredible bargain for someone who's very serious about the way their system sounds with music, but also wants that deep and explosive bass for home theater. The top of the line dual reference also consists of two models, the DS1000 and the DS1200. These models are for users who want maximum SPL while maintaining the speed offered from the reference series. And this extra headroom does offer the advantage of the woofer sounding even more effortless at low to moderate volumes. The drivers are identical, but you get two mounted on the sides of a high gloss cabinet with angled side walls. The cabinet gets a little thicker at 36 millimeters with bracing and damping designed for the driver configuration. These maintain the nice speaker level inputs like the reference and add balanced audio inputs as well. Now, as you might expect, the amp power increases up to 1,200 watts continuous, the double that for peaks. These do not go any lower in frequency than the reference models, but do offer the ability to play far louder with 115 dB and 118 dB anechoic peaks measured. As mentioned before, this also gives them slightly more effortless feel at lower to moderate levels. And during our testing, we played a lot of material on the RS700. For home theater use, it was just fantastic, delivering very deep, explosive bass. Our testing room was roughly 19 by 15 feet with 10 foot ceilings, and just one sub filled the entire space really well. Although with its price, two would probably be even nicer. However, what really impressed us the most was just how well we could get it to integrate into our system. With speakers that are fast and phase accurate, mating up a sub is usually a challenge. We tested it in a 21 by 14 by 9 foot ceiling height room on the long wall with a pair of JBL 4367 speakers. These are super fast and accurate, but do roll off in the room at about 50 hertz. We wired these up with a stereo Macintosh preamp using the second set of outputs, letting the JBLs naturally roll off while using the RS700's crossover. It was so nice to be able to fine tune the crossover and levels just using the app. Once we had it dialed in, the only thing you could sense was the music went lower in the deep bass, which is fantastic. There was no feeling of a different sounding source for deep bass as it blended perfectly with the JBLs. Some of the tracks that we used were the crazy deep bass in Yellow's Oh Yeah, Long After You've Gone by Chris Jones, and the classic Thanks to You by Boz Skaggs. On all of these, it just sounded like the speakers now had far more deep bass extension, which is exactly what you want out of a great subwoofer. When we transitioned away from deep bass demo type material to just regular jazz and rock, we still loved the way the music seemed to add an extra octave while blending in so well. 
To say the least, ELAC has really hit the mark with these new Varro subwoofers. The Premium Series offers outstanding value for the money, while the Reference and Dual Reference offer both home theater slam and hardcore audiophile level bass accuracy, with the Reference being the better value in our minds. We invite you to reach out to our team of passionate audio experts to help decide which model might be the best match to complement your home theater or home audio system. That wraps up our review of these ELAC Varro subwoofers. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. And if you have more questions, reach out to us at audioadvice.com and our team of experts will be happy to help. And remember, if you purchase your Varro subs or any other audio or video gear from Audio Advice, we offer free shipping, a price guarantee, and lifetime expert support. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way. Until next time, take care and keep listening.